since i have started uploading videos about my university and uh, the campus life i am seeing so many comments asking loads of queries regarding that i have just started the channel and i am literally so overwhelmed with these so hello and welcome and to give you a little context uh, i am a student of northeastern hill university well i just graduated this year which is situated in shillong meghalaya india the university has the its permanent campus in shillong meghalaya and the other two campuses that it has one is in tura meghalaya and another is in ui meghalaya and apart from these uh, there are many affiliated colleges uh that this university has so i'm talking about the uh campus which is in shillong meghalaya it has more than 40 departments in science arts management technology etc it is one of the most prestigious central universities in uh india with a an nirf ranking of 66 currently so back to your queries or comments as i'm trying to reply to them all of them uh, more and more comments keep coming so i cannot kind of cope up with all your comments so this video will be about those comments by the way this is not an educational channel or a channel which helps students or anyone build their careers but since i already know some of the answers to some of your queries so i thought why not answer them properly in a video so i did a little research and uh, came up with this video with as much as answers i can provide although i could not bring up all your comments all your queries i uh, the most common queries of all of them was related to admission so that will be the like uh, mostly discussed topic in this video and apart from that uh, i will also discuss about hostels and fees and etc and will show you some sources uh, where you can find more uh, details regarding or information regarding all those so let's stick until the end so before starting I had to do a little research because uh, although I um, have some knowledge on this topic, today's topic, but most of them are not rega uh, like regarding my field. So it took a lot of time and effort. So please give it a like and share with your friends who might be helped with this video, with this information. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and more great stuffs are coming on the way and you can also comment down what you think of this video if you have some more information please comment it down for others who might get helped so let's start let me divide this process for uh, in some categories first one we have btech or engineering or uh, b arc um, that is architecture another category for the general courses are science or others so uh, first let me talk about uh, the general courses so you have to appear for a test that is held by nta uh, cuet so everyone must be familiar with this so for ug it is the cuet ug and for PG, it's UAT, PG. You write the test and then you have the you have your score, common score, and then you apply for uh, the particular university university that you want to get in. So for that, uh, you go to that university portal portal or website, like it might be showing somewhere around the skin. So you apply apply for cuet you write the exam and you have a score and then you apply 
to through the university website so the cutoff is determined by a particular department of a particular university and as per that uh, cutoff marks they develop a merit list so you uh, should check the your university website uh, often this merit list is prepared based on cvat marks and uh, and some more criteria like uh, if you are outstanding in sports or if you are a domicile of that state or if you are physically challenged or ews from the ews section and if you have your name on that merit list so they you will be called and you will get admission or if it is online so it's more convenient so that is about the uh, cuet ug and pg so these are uh, these two exams are for uh, like general courses like art science uh, bachelors and masters now uh, let's talk about the uh, btech first so for that you have to uh, appear for joint entrance examination and you'll have to have a valid and positive score in that examination so after that you can either apply through the websites portal or you can apply uh, you can go for the counseling in uh, like josa counseling if you are applying through the nehus website 18 seats are there for those who are applying directly and rest of the other seats are for the josa counseling so uh, that is how and then the merit list is uh, prepared and if you have your name on that merit list then you are, you will be called and uh, for admission lateral entry uh, in btech you have to have a diploma or uh, a bca degree uh, different tests are held uh, in different universities after the test the final merit list is prepared and uh, you will be called for admission and for mtech uh, cuet pg is uh, held and also you can uh, you have to have a GATE score. For B Arc, that is Bachelor in Architecture, you have to have a NATA score. Like uh, you have to write the NATA exam for that, and after that you apply to the university through their website, and then you uh, the merit list is prepared as as usual. And so that was quite about the process uh, of how to get admission in nehu particularly it is almost the same for all the other central universities but i recommend you to uh, go through the nehu websites it might be coming on the screen right now so there's a prospectus and this this is the prospectus of nehu uh, so you can download it So that was quite about it. I hope you are helped by this video, by the information that I provided today and the sources. Uh, I hope this will help you out in your admission or in your career. Uh, and if it had, please uh, like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Thank you.